In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 21, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Baltimore Orioles vs. Kansas City Royals The Baltimore Orioles, currently 13-7, are set to face the 13-8 Kansas City Royals in an exciting American League showdown this Sunday afternoon. Both teams aim to secure a victory in the final game of this series. The Royals claimed the first game on Friday, while the Orioles responded with a significant win on Saturday. Taking the mound for the Orioles will be Cole Irvin, who holds a 0-1 record with a 6.75 earned run average across 14.2 innings pitched. On the Royals' side, Seth Lugo will pitch, boasting an impressive 3-0 record and a 1.05 earned run average over 25.2 innings pitched. Kansas City has been on a winning streak, securing victories in three of their last four games and an impressive nine of their last ten home games. They've been strong offensively, scoring a total of 14 runs in their past three games. The Royals are poised to continue this offensive prowess against left-handers like Irvin, who has struggled on the mound, conceding 11 runs over three starts. In his most recent outing against the Royals, Irvin allowed four runs, indicating he may find it challenging to contain their offense this time around. Meanwhile, the Orioles have been performing well, winning four of their last five games and showcasing an offensive spark by scoring 19 runs in their last three games. However, they face a tough challenge against Lugo, who has been dominant for Kansas City, allowing just three runs in four starts. Lugo's exceptional form, particularly evident in his recent home starts where he allowed only three runs, suggests the Orioles may find it tough to score heavily in this game. Throughout the season, Seth Lugo has maintained outstanding form, contributing significantly to the Royals' strong home record of 9-3, which ranks among the best in the league. Despite Baltimore's impressive batting statistics, Cole Irvin's performances have been less impressive, characterized by numerous hits and home runs, which could pose a challenge against the Royals' formidable lineup. The key factor in this game could be run support, favoring the Royals' offense against the Orioles' defense. Therefore, considering the matchup and recent performances, the Kansas City Royals' money line is our full-game side pick. Analyzing the offensive statistics, the Orioles average 5.68 runs per game overall and 5.43 runs per game on the road. However, they managed just three runs per game in their recent games against the Royals. Conversely, the Royals average 5.05 runs per game overall and an impressive 6.36 runs per game at home. They scored an average of 5.33 runs per game in their recent matchups against the Orioles. The Royals enter this game with a 7-12 record against the over-under this season. Despite facing a struggling pitcher in Irvin, their offense has collectively hit .240 this season and has shown improved performance recently. Lugo's reliability in the rotation, coupled with his ability to pitch deep into games consistently, presents a significant challenge to opposing offenses. Considering Irvin's tendency to concede 4.33 runs per game, the Royals may not accumulate enough runs to push the score over the total projected. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Detroit Tigers vs. Minnesota Twins On Sunday, April 21, 2024, the Detroit Tigers are set to take on the Minnesota Twins at Target Field in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This matchup marks the conclusion of their three-game series, where each team has secured a victory so far. In the initial game, the Tigers emerged triumphant with a score of 5-4, while the Twins responded by winning the second game with a narrow 4-3 margin. The Tigers have demonstrated strength in recent road games, securing victories in two of their last three outings. Their offense has been particularly noteworthy, tallying 16 runs across their previous three matchups. 
Facing off against the Twins, they anticipate continuing this offensive momentum, especially given the performance of Twins pitcher Louis Varlin, who has struggled on the mound, conceding 15 runs in his last three starts, including six against the Tigers in his most recent outing. Conversely, the Twins have encountered a challenging stretch, losing six of their last eight contests. Their offensive output has been modest, scoring just nine runs in their last three games. This offensive struggle is likely to persist against the Tigers due to their difficulty in hitting against right-handed pitchers and the solid pitching performance of Casey Mize, who has only allowed seven runs in his three starts. Mize's proficiency combined with Detroit's strong bullpen suggests they will effectively contain the Twins' offense. Although the Twins managed to break their losing streak with a victory on Saturday, their performance was not without difficulty, nearly surrendering a 4-0 lead. The Twins have been plagued by inconsistent hitting, a trend shared to some extent by the Tigers. Despite Detroit's impressive team-earned run average, their offense has been inconsistent. Casey Mize, the Tigers' starting pitcher, has shown promise despite his 4.11 earned run average and no wins this season. Meanwhile, the Twins are relying on Louis Varland, who has struggled significantly early in the season. There is a notable lack of confidence in the Twins' ability to perform consistently, particularly at bat, where they have a reputation for underachievement. Despite the talent present in the Twins' lineup, they often fall short of expectations. In contrast, the Tigers, though youthful, are beginning to find their stride, with Casey Mize showcasing strong performances. The Twins' propensity to strike out frequently against right-handed pitchers is likely to persist, contributing to their challenges in this matchup. So the Detroit Tigers' money line is our full-game side pick. Analyzing the season statistics, the Tigers have played 21 games, with 9 of them surpassing the posted total. In road games specifically, they have played 10, with 4 exceeding the posted total. Recent trends show that the Tigers have surpassed the total in 3 out of their last 4 games. On the other hand, the Twins have participated in 19 games this season, with 8 exceeding the posted total. However, when playing at home, only 2 out of their 8 games have surpassed the posted total. In their last 5 games, the Twins have seen 3 games exceeding the projected total. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Milwaukee Brewers vs. St. Louis Cardinals In the second game of this series, the Cardinals suffered a significant defeat following a narrow loss in Game 1, and now they aim to avoid a sweep on Sunday afternoon. Before their recent winning streak, the Brewers had faced a three-game losing streak. They now hold the top spot in the National League Central with a one-game lead over the Chicago Cubs. The Cardinals have seen a decline in their performance, losing their last three games and four out of their last ten matchups. They currently stand at 9-12, residing at the bottom of the National League Central standings, trailing the Brewers by five games. The Brewers have dominated the early part of this series with two consecutive victories and have extended their winning streak to three games. Meanwhile, the Cardinals are on a three-game losing streak. St. Louis enters this game as the favorite, largely due to the presence of Gray on the mound, who has yet to concede a single run in his first two starts. However, Rhea has also displayed consistency, with his most recent start being his weakest this season, allowing three runs, while only giving up a total of three runs in his initial two starts. Both starting pitchers are expected to perform well, but the Brewers possess a slightly superior bullpen and a much stronger lineup. Therefore, the Milwaukee Brewers' money line is our full game side pick. Gray has maintained a clean sheet in his first two starts, while Rhea has allowed a total of six runs across three starts, three of which occurred in his last outing. Both starting pitchers are poised to deliver strong performances, and both teams have displayed solid bullpen support. Despite the Brewers having the better lineup, it's unlikely they will make significant offensive strides in this game, nor will the Cardinals anticipate a showdown of pitchers in this closing game of the division series. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.